Hi gang, it's Jane from Strike Finder here in San Antonio. It has been way too long since we've had a good thunderstorm and we're getting a little bored around here. So let's go break some stuff. Let's break some light bulbs. You'll need your camera, your touch, and a bunch of light bulbs. Let's head into the back and get started. Okay, so here's our cast of characters. We need an off-camera flash, your touch and sound sensor, something to break like light bulbs and safety goggles, your camera, a shutter release, and your tripod. Okay, so take your touch and turn it on. Hit the OK button. Since we're doing explosions and breaking sounds, go ahead and hit the sound sensor. Adjust the sensitivity as needed. We put it about halfway. Plug in the sound sensor to the sound input jack. And you can test it by simply touching on the sound sensor or snapping. There's the light right there. Set your flash on manual mode and then adjust to the lowest power setting possible. This will give you the fastest flash, allowing you to freeze a flying glass. In our case, we've set to 1 1 28th. Once your flash is set, connect the flash sync cable to the flash and then plug it into the flash camera input jack on the touch. We are ready to go. Go ahead and start setting everything in place. The sound sensor should be very close to the light bulb. Adjust the flash in the location as needed. Turn on your touch. Set it to sound mode. Turn everything on. And you can test it with a simple snap to ensure the whole setup is working correctly. Plug your shutter release into the camera. Our shutter settings are one half a second. We found that half a second gives us just enough time to trigger the shutter and then break the light bulb. However, if you're shooting in total darkness, you can use a longer shutter setting. Set up your camera. Find your focus. Our camera settings are ISO 100, shutter speed of half a second, like I've said, and we'll take several test shots to find the proper f-stop. We take our pictures in the dark to prevent ghosting on the pictures, but I do want to show you the entire process with the lights on so you get to experience the flying glass with us. We are all ready. The flash is on, the touch is set. Let's just do a little test snap. Okay, grab your safety goggles. Let's break some glass. And one, two, three. Pretty exciting, wasn't it? This picture is all right but you can see a lot of the ghosting. Let's dim the lights and try it again. One, two, three. <laughs> Tough light bulbs. <laughs> One, two, three. This picture is super cool because it shows you the moment of impact. The glass is cracking and breaking at the bottom. But to capture an awesome picture of the glass flying, we need to add a five millisecond delay to the picture. Let's try to get in total darkness to remove the last bit of ghosting. One, two, and three. Much better. Keep in mind with the light bulbs, they don't always break on the first try. One, two, and three. Or the second try. One, two, and three. Be safe, there is going to be a lot of glass. Wear One, safety goggles. Two, and three. Got it. Here's some more pictures we took the same day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We sure did have a fun time making it. I'd love to see what you're up to. Send us some pictures. Until next time.